Hi everyone, my name is Akshay Diksha and I'm a product manager at Gusto. Gusto is a core engine for products like Azure Data Explorer, Log Analytics, and Real-Time Analytics in Microsoft Fabric. In this video, I will focus on the use of open source connectors to enable real-time analytics in Microsoft Fabric. I will cover the functionalities, common use cases, architectures, and underlying SDKs of connectors such as Kafka, Spark, Open Telemetry, etc. to ingest and process data in real time so it can be analyzed to generate insights. First, let's understand what is Microsoft Fabric real-time analytics. Microsoft Fabric combines Data Factory, Synapse Analytics, Data Explorer, and Power BI into a single unified experience on the cloud. The open and governed Data Lakehouse Foundation is cost-effective and performance-optimized Fabric for business intelligence, machine learning, and AI workloads at any scale. It is the foundation for migrating and modernizing existing analytic solutions, whether this be data appliances, or traditional data warehouses. Microsoft Fabric's SaaS environment makes it easier to deploy an entire end-to-end -end analytics engine from ground up at an accelerated pace. With the solution's built-in security and governance capabilities, you can be rest assured your data and insights are protected. Synapse Real-Time Analytics forms a foundational pillar in Microsoft Fabric. Real-Time Analytics is a fully managed Big Data Analytics Platform optimized for streaming and time series data. It utilizes a query language and engine with exceptional performance for searching, structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data. Real-Time Analytics is fully integrated with the entire suite of Fabric products for both data loading, data transformation, and advanced visualization scenarios. Unlike the data science lakehouse and data warehouse analytics scenarios, streaming data can be ingested into Microsoft Fabric in several ways to achieve real-time analytics. Users can leverage Event Hub, IoT Hub, pipelines, data flows, notebooks, or open source products like Kafka, Logstash, and many more. Once ingested into Microsoft Fabric, streaming data can be stored in CustoDB and mirrored into lakehouse. After the data has been stored, machine learning models can be trained and tested directly on Lakehouse with experiments. Like the other scenarios, business users can analyze and visualize data with Power BI using see-through mode or SQL endpoints. Data can also be exposed through KQL or notebooks using Spark. Data ingestion is the process used to load data from one or more sources into real-time analytics in MS Fabric. Once ingested, the data becomes available for query. Custo supports two modes of data ingestion, namely batching and streaming. Batching ingestion does data batching and is optimized for high ingestion throughput. This method is preferred and most performant type of ingestion Data is batched according to ingestion properties. Small batches of data are then merged and optimized for fast query results. Streaming ingestion is ongoing data ingestion from streaming source. Streaming ingestion allows near real-time latency for small sets of data per table. Data is initially ingested to row store and then moved to column store extents. Streaming ingestion can be done using Custo Client Library or one of the supported data pipelines. Custo provides several connectors for data ingestion and being the core engine of real-time analytics in MS Fabric, its wide range of open source connectors work seamlessly with real-time analytics in MS Fabric as well. Let us take a look at some of the open source platforms supported by Custo for data ingestion. Custo supports data ingestion from Apache Kafka, which is a distributed streaming platform for building real-time streaming data pipelines that reliably move data between systems and applications. Apache Spark is a unified analytics engine for large-scale data processing. Open Telemetry, also referred to as OTEL, is an open source observability framework made of collection of tools, APIs, and SDKs. 
portal enables IT teams to instrument, generate, collect, and export telemetry data for analysis and to understand software performance and behavior. Logstash is the L in ELK stack and is responsible for aggregating data from different sources, processing it, and sending it down to the pipeline, usually to be directly indexed in Elasticsearch, but in our case, it is real-time analytics in MS Fabric. Telegraph is a server-based agent for collecting and sending all metrics and events from databases, systems, and IoT sensors. Telegraph is written in Go and compiles into a single binary with no external dependencies. And it requires a very minimal memory footprint. Serilog is a popular logging framework for .NET applications. Serilog allows developers to control which log statements are output with arbitrary granularity based on the logger's name, logger level, and message pattern. Nlog is a flexible and free logging framework for various .NET applications, including .NET standard. Nlog allows you to write to several targets such as a database, file, or console. Apache Log4j is a Java-based logging utility and is a part of Apache Logging Services, a project of Apache Software Foundation. Now let's take a look at these connectors in detail. The first one being Kafka. You can bring in data via Kafka into Kusto using Apache Kafka Kusto Sync, which is built on Kafka Connect. Kafka Connect is a tool for scalable and reliable streaming of data between Apache Kafka and other data systems. The Kafka Sync serves as a connector from Kafka and doesn't require using code. This is gold certified by Confluent, has gone through comprehensive review and testing for quality, feature completeness, compliance with standards, and for performance. This is an ingestion only connector and supports both batching and streaming. Typically, customers use this connector to bring logs, telemetry, and messages from source systems like servers, IoT devices, database, etc., for analytics and is built on Java using Kusto Java SDK. The Spark connector is an open source project that can run on any Spark cluster. It implements data source and data sync for moving data to or from Spark clusters. Using the Apache Spark connector, you can build fast and scalable applications targeting data-driven scenarios. For example, machine learning, extract transform load, ETL, and log analytics. With the connector, your database becomes a valid data store for standard Spark source and sync operations, such as read, write, and write stream. Making real-time analytics and Spark work together enables building fast, scalable applications targeting a variety of machine learning, ETL loads, log analytics, and other data-driven scenarios. You can write to KQLDB in either batch or streaming mode with this connector. Reading from KQLDB supports column pruning and predicate pushdown, which filters the data into Kusto, reducing the volume of transferred data. Otel is a framework for application observability. The instrumentation is hosted by CNCF, which provides standard interfaces for observability data, including metrics, logs, and traces. The hotel collector is made up of the following three components. First, receivers deal with how we get the data into the collector. Second, the processors determine what do we do with the data that we have received. And finally, the exporters are responsible for where we send this data that we have received. The Open Telemetry Connector supports ingestion of data from many receivers into KQLDB, both in Kusto batching and streaming modes. It works as a bridge to ingest data generated by Open Telemetry into your database by customizing the format of exported data according to your needs. The primary use cases include ingestion of logs, metrics, but also traces. A trace represents the whole journey of a request or an action as it moves through the nodes of a distributed system, especially 
containerized application or microservices architecture. The hotel exporter to Custo is based on Custo Go SDK. For organizations on ELK stack, migration between big data platforms sounds like a long and complicated process. But that's not always true. Switching from ELK to real-time analytics offers the opportunity to significantly boost performance, reduce cost, and improve the quality of insights by offering advanced query capabilities, all of this without entering into a long and complex migration, thanks to the Logstash Custo plugin. The Logstash plugin enables you to process events from Logstash into KQLDB for later analysis. It comes with the capabilities to ingest data from many sources simultaneously. You can transform and send data to your favorite stash, in this case, real-time analytics. The plugin is based on Custo Java SDK and supports batching. Telegraph is an open source, lightweight, minimal memory footprint agent for collecting, processing, and writing telemetry data, including log, matrix, and IoT data. Telegraph supports hundreds of input and output plugins, and it's widely used and well supported by the open source community. The output plugin serves as a connector from Telegraph and supports ingestion of data from many types of input plugins into your database. It can be leveraged for different scenarios, such as the collection of telemetry generated by Docker containers, Kubernetes environments, Windows event logs, syslogs, or any of the supported input plugins to ingest log matrix and IoT data into a KQLDB and extract insights building near real-time analytics dashboards. Telegraph plugin supports both batching and streaming and is based on Go SDK. Apart from connectors, Custo also supports forwarders or appenders which grab information from the logger and writes log messages to a file or any other storage location. The Serilog Sync, also known as an appender, streams your log data to your database where you can analyze and visualize your logs in real time. The nlog sync is a target for nlog that allows you to send your log messages to your CustoDB. The plugin provides an efficient way to sync your logs to your Custo cluster. The Apache Log4j2 sync allows you to stream your log data from Java applications to your KQLDB, where you can analyze and visualize your logs in real time. So far, we covered several GA connectors and forwarders using which you can send high volume and variety of data with high velocity to your KQLDB of real-time analytics in MS Fabric. Our Custo open source connector team actively listens to customer requests and emerging trends to build and support an ever-increasing number of connectors. Our upcoming connectors include Splunk and Flink. We are releasing a couple of connectors for Splunk, namely Splunk Add-on and Splunk Universal Forward. The Splunk Add-on for Fabric can be downloaded on Splunk Enterprise and helps bring data from Splunk to KQLDB in a no-code way. The Splunk Universal Forwarder routes incoming data for Splunk to RTA in MS Fabric. Apache Flink is a framework and distributed processing engine for stateful computations over unbounded and bounded data streams. Flink has been designed to run in all common cluster environment, perform computations, act in memory speed at any scale. The Flink connector to Custo is a sync connector and allows seamless data ingestion to KQLD. The event stream feature in Microsoft Fabric gives you a centralized place in Fabric platform to capture, transform, and route real-time events from various sources to a destination with no code experience. Some of the Azure resources supported by EventStream are Azure Event Hub and Azure IoT Hub. Event Streaming Endpoint support multiple protocols like Event Hub, AMQP, which in turn supports RabbitMQ and Kafka. In this session, I only covered the ingestion connectors, although our team also supports 
consumption and visualization open source connectors such as Grafana, Kibana, CSYNC, etc. You can learn more about the Fabric RTA connectors at aka.ms slash fabricrta.connectors. You can learn more about RTA at aka.ms slash fabricrta. Try MS Fabric real-time analytics for free at aka.ms slash try hyphen fabric hyphen RTA. Also, connect with our Custo community on LinkedIn at aka.ms slash custo.linkedin. You can also connect with us on Twitter at aka.ms slash custo.x. Thank you for your time today in learning about Custo Open Source Connectors. Hope you are having a great time at Microsoft Ignite. All the best.